Easter Sales Redwood is the thrill of accomplishment, it's community, it's hope. Easter Seals Redwood has provided Cheryl with 55 years of education and therapies. I didn't do it with that. Redwood is my school. We have a lot of fun. My favorite part is no day is ever the same. I have a different challenge every day. I'm always putting out a fire or bringing some water. <laughs> do you like coming to Easter Seals Redwood? You do? What do you like about coming here? Uh, Michelle. I my books. And your books? Yeah. <laughs> Easter Seals Redwood eh, significa un lugar seguro para todas esas personas que sienten que no tienen un lugar. <laughs> when you look at the history of the concept of diversity, equity, and inclusion, Easter Seals Redwood was living that long before it was the trend that it is now. They gave me hope when I didn't have any. They dedicated themselves to making sure that I was okay. It's <laughs> inspirational. Now you're gonna bring the tears. The greatest joy is seeing somebody change their life. We get the opportunity to bring families together, help families thrive, purchase homes, buy cars, do things they never thought they could. Easter Seals Redwood, it's like family. Easter Seals Redwood has a huge impact on veterans. For me, being a veteran was the help I needed to get back into society. I've been working at Easter Seals for 17 years, and I don't think I'm leaving no time soon until retirement comes. Easter Seals means to me job, community, stability, and it makes me feel wonderful. Easter Seals is help for those going through the hardest times in their lives. Easter Seals Redwood is about building possibilities through innovation. Job opportunities. Second chances. Family. They know me better than anybody. This is a place for everyone. 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 At Easter Seals Redwood, there's a place for everyone. Welcome to the 2023 Easter Seals Redwood Brighter Futures Celebration. You know, there's a lot of scary things that are going on in the world right now. There's a lot of chaos and uncertainty, and sometimes it's difficult to find hope and to see where things are getting better. This celebration is to remind you that there are breakthrough moments happening in our community every day, that there are amazing and positive things that are occurring in the lives of individuals that are making our world a better place. I'm Pam Green, the president of Easter Seals Redwood, and we exist to advance 100% equity, access, and inclusion for people with disabilities, for veterans, and for people in our community who are living with economic disadvantages. Over the next half hour, we're gonna share the stories of three amazing people who have a better life through the power of work than the power of employment. I hope that these stories inspire you and bring as much joy to your life as they have to these people and to Easter Seals Redwood and our whole team. Thanks so much for joining us. What's your least favorite Christmas song? Uh, the one that has my name in it. <laughs> Holly Jolly Christmas. Holly Jolly Yes. Christmas. So I do have a learning disability. It takes me a little bit longer to learn something than most other kids. Even middle school and high school, teachers would just like say, Holly, we can do as much as we can for you, but in the end, I don't think you're gonna like go incredibly far. I might as well not be here if you're not gonna like build the confidence in me. In high school, I started saying to myself, look, I want to prove everybody wrong. I want to rise above. Holly came into Project Search nervous and very low self-confidence. Wasn't very good at advocating for herself. She wouldn't ask questions when needed because she was nervous to do so. It felt great to be in Project Search. They helped us, basic skills like interviewing, you know, and then we did our rotations and stuff. In the program, she worked in three rotations. She actually was offered a position at Atrium and was hired there. Her confidence got built up more as she started learning different things that she could do. So I thought to myself, where do I want to be in five years? Do I still want to be in a part-time job? I started filling out applications and went on my computer that day and applied. And I think two days after, I got a call saying that they wanted to interview me. 
when Holly came in, uh, I interviewed her. She did great. I didn't think anything of it. I was happy to hear that she had experience and I thought she would fit the role here perfectly. It felt really good to like do something like that on my own because like I learned how to interview from Project Search. I was so proud of her. So all of the skills that she learned in Project Search, she took it and she went out on her own and did this. And I felt very proud of myself like, oh my goodness, I just got a job on my own. Like, this is crazy. <laughs> I don't see any limitations with Holly. It was a surprise for me to find out, you know, that she went through Easter Seals and it didn't matter to us. As long as she could do the job, we want to make sure that we're interacting with the patients in a way that's kind and compassionate and part of that healing process for them. She does that really well. There, I mean, there's potential in everyone. And with Holly, it was because she had the ability from the beginning. She just had to gain the confidence that she needed to be successful. When I wake up in the morning, I get to think to myself, I get to work with an amazing hospital, an amazing work environment, and I just love what I do. I'm glad that I proved people wrong. I got told I couldn't have a kid in that process, and then <laughs> three months into my relationship, I found out I was pregnant. For builders, homeowners, and makers, Building Value is the sustainable resource for hard-to-find and one-of-a-kind items. We have Cincinnati's largest selection of doors, windows, high-end appliances, and architectural treasures at less than retail prices. When you shop at Building Value, you're saving the environment and supporting life-changing programs in our community. Visit us today. How did a small town kid get here? It was never about starting off perfect. It was just about starting. Replacing self-doubt with self-care and learning how food can heal. It's all about having the right support from people who understand what you need because I'm not your average Joe and neither are you. Cincinnati is a place of big thinkers, big dreamers. Cincinnati is about forward thinking. I take a lot of pride in saying I'm from the west side. It's a community of hard work and hustle. Cincinnati is under a creative renaissance right now. The city is booming with fiber technology, and Alta Fiber is to thank for that. In entertainment, whether it's recording, streaming, how we get our music, the technology that they are providing, it allows all of us to continue to grow. Alta Fiber's philanthropic effort is extremely valuable. They've given $32 million to so many groups in the Anthony Munoz Foundation has been one of those groups. You know, opportunities are everything. Having access to technology is what drives that opportunity. Seeing them interact with their customer base shows you that they're there to serve. There's no question about it. Alta Fiber understands our needs. Enhanced technology produces enhanced products. Alta Fiber is the best. Alta Fiber is reliable. They are Cincinnati. Why would you choose anyone else? At Easter Sales Redwood, we recognize that not everyone knows the path they want to follow. One of our staff members said to me that we're like the GPS on their path to a career. This next story is an excellent example. You know what's a cute name? Chloe. <laughs> I'm from Oxford, so I grew up in a college town. I had a hockey family, like all my brothers played hockey, and I got told since I was a girl, couldn't really play hockey, so I went to field hockey. And then I went to college for a bit. I was in the Air Force ROTC for a little bit. I got told I couldn't have a kid in that process. And then <laughs> three months into my relationship, I found out I was pregnant. Chloe came to Easter Seals and she had done a, an assessment and coming in with the notion that everybody told her that she would be good in healthcare, every answer kind of geared towards that. And we were telling her, we're like, okay, well, you know, we can help fund something in healthcare because that's an in-demand degree. And she's like, I, I don't want to do healthcare. We're like, what do you want to do? I want to create stuff. I want to work with my hands. Oh, wow, you're a woman welder. Like, wow. And I'm like, I'm just a woman who happens to weld. And it just 
lit fire to Chloe, so to speak. Like she was just, uh, I think this is what I want to do. And so as soon as she got done that day, she's like, I, I need to sign papers. I want to do this. Just being a woman in, in a male dominated field, I always was meant to do this. I got told I couldn't play hockey, so I played field hockey. Told I can't have a kid. I have a kid. <laughs> got told it's a male dominated field and well, and I'm like, what? Well, put me in. She does not see barriers. A typical person would look at her and say, wow, you're a single mom, you know, you've got health conditions, all these things. You want to go into a male dominated, you know, trade. And, and you want to be successful, and she's like, yes, bring it on, that's what I want to do. She's a great role model for a lot of other young women can show, hey, I can do this. The Easter Sales Redwood Career Connection Program, we help hundreds of young adults just like Chloe, and we work hard to break down those barriers to make sure that they can get into the higher paying career fields. We love to celebrate every little milestone she's having. We followed her for the whole year after, just to make sure that she was happy with what she's doing, and if she were to need help, we'd be there for her. Easter Egg Seals has helped me out a lot. You think a lot when you get told you can't have a kid, like, just a whole different love. It pushes you a lot more, because you're not just depending on yourself. You have another person depending on you that you have to make sure is set for the rest of their lives. I, life is like welding. No matter how many sparks hit you, I'll turn into something beautiful. <laughs> <laughs>each year as part of our Brighter Futures celebration, Easter Seals Redwood honors a community partner whose support makes it possible for the individuals that we serve to pursue their career goals. This year, I am honored to announce that Mitsubishi Electric Automotive America is our community partner of the year. Thank you, Mitsubishi, for ensuring that people with disabilities have a brighter future. Mitsubishi Electric is really committed to create an inclusive society. And that can really be seen through the Mitsubishi Electric America Foundation. Uh, the company established the foundation 32 years ago, right after the passage of the American Disabilities Act. And they chose maximizing the potential and participation of youth with disabilities in society as its mission. The ECHO Committee is an acronym. It stands for Employees Committed to Helping Others. And that committee is made up of employee volunteers who are empowered to identify local organizations and determine how much money we donate to those organizations. So we are uh, essentially uh, empowered to spend MEAA's philanthropic dollars, which is awesome. We have been involved with Easter Seals since 2003, so 20 years of partnership. So when I took over as chair of the ECHO Committee in 2014, I jumped right into volunteering with Easter Seals. We already had that relationship. And also that year was our first year sponsoring the Brighter Futures Gala. And I will never forget that, November 4th, 2014. The reason I can remember the date is because my son was born the very next day. And I've always called him our Brighter Futures baby. So I've got a connection with Easter Seals uh, in more than one way. So over the years, we've been involved in a lot of different projects with Easter Seals, from the Brighter Futures Galas to the Our Serve events at the tennis tournament. We've donated probably over a 1,000 pallets over the years. We've also done mock interviews here at our facility, which has been a really cool opportunity for our employees to be involved in, where we get to sit down with Easter Seals students and give them some reps on what an, uh, an actual job interview would look like. So my son Jude has Duchenne muscular dystrophy, and I know that someday he's gonna have challenges and hurdles with employment. And it means a lot to me that there are good organizations like Easter Seals that are gonna be able to help him when he has those needs to be able to find meaningful employment. Since Jude's diagnosis, it makes it a lot more real to me, knowing that someday we're gonna be in that same boat and we're gonna have some hurdles to overcome, and to know that I've got friends at Easter Seals who can help him get him to where he needs to be, uh, that's huge for me. You know, the, the power of a job can't be underestimated. So you have a student get that very first paycheck, 
They were so excited because they have earned their way. And that's why we do what we do here at Mitsubishi Electric, because we believe in possible, giving people the opportunity to go out, get a job, and live to their potential. And that's what we all want. Hello, I'm Tim Massa, Chief People Officer at Kroger. And I'm Colleen Linholtz, President of Kroger Health. We are so excited to once again be the presenting sponsor for Easter Seals Redwood Brighter Futures Celebration. As a 28-year Kroger associate and an Easter Seals Redwood board member, I have the honor of seeing up front and close how aligned these organizations' missions truly are. And our relationship goes back for many years. We are so proud to support the organization's mission to build a more diverse and inclusive workforce while connecting people to opportunities that will help them achieve economic self-sufficiency. At Kroger, we see such diversity in our associates. And we know that each person has something special to bring to the table. Like Easter Seals Redwood, Kroger understands that a successful workforce and economy includes everyone. That's why we say fresh for everyone. Over the years, Kroger has employed hundreds of people served by Easter Seals Redwood. These include people living with disabilities, our veterans, and people who have faced economic disadvantages. These individuals are valued members of our Kroger family, and they help make our business that much better. The Brighter Future Celebration is always near and dear to our hearts. This event represents diversity, inclusion, and the opportunity for people to find purpose. For many, employment opportunities offer a chance to connect and share our talents as we work toward common goals. As Tim said, together, Kroger and Easter Seals Redwood focus on building employment opportunities throughout greater Cincinnati, and our collaboration has created purpose for so many. I am so proud to be able to say that we have been working with Easter Seals Redwood for more than four decades. Thank you all for watching tonight and hearing more about the amazing work that happens at Easter Seals Redwood. We hope that you will join Kroger in supporting their wonderful mission. Your gift will allow someone in need to feel the pride of employment and purpose. Thank you for your generosity and congratulations to the 2023 Easter Seals Redwood Brighter Futures Celebration Award recipients. At that time, it was called 54 Bravo, which was a nuclear biological chemical specialist. But we would go in to a scene where things just had happened, dead bodies, you know. People were laying as they were. And I remember being told, just act like you didn't see it. So you would see it, and I would put it, out, put it in the back of my mind and just carry on with, you know, with the mission. I didn't talk about it. I just buried it, but it's still, I imploded. And that's when I found drugs. We keep this love in a photograph. We make these memories for ourselves. Where our eyes are never closing, hearts are never broken, and time's forever frozen still. So you can keep me inside the pocket of your ripped At Mitsubishi Electric, we don't just innovate, we connect the world from the inside out. We connect energy efficiency with cooling and heating to reduce our carbon footprint. We connect satellite technology with an autonomous future. We provide continuous power to empower people to lead fulfilling lives. Connected to you, connected to life. Mitsubishi Electric. Transitioning from military life to civilian life isn't always easy, especially when resources and support are scattered and hard to find. The good news is that Easter Seals Redwood Military and Veteran Services is here as the region's premier resource for military and veterans. Our staff of veterans and military families have supported thousands of vets in achieving their goals, but we know we can do more which is why we're excited to open our area's first military and veteran center. Now, all services are under one roof. 
a 7,000 square foot space in the heart of Cincinnati, uniquely designed for military and veterans. And the best part? Services are free for all active duty, guard, reserve, and veterans, regardless of their discharge status, and of course, their families. There's no application and no red tape. This is the support vets need. Join us in our mission to leave no veteran behind because all veterans deserve a welcoming, supportive space on their journey back home. We are so proud to never charge a veteran for the services that we offer and to serve every veteran, regardless of disability or discharge status. Each year, we connect hundreds of veterans in our region to the services that they need for employment, to stabilize their lives, and to fully integrate into our community. Here's one of their stories. Got into the Army during Desert Storm time. I was 20 years old. At that time, it was called 54 Bravo, which was a nuclear biological chemical specialist. But we would go in to a scene where things just had happened. Dead bodies, you know. People were laying as they were. And I remember being told, just act like you didn't see it. So you would see it, and I would put it, out, put it in the back of my mind, just carry on with, you know, with the mission. I became good at that. I became good at uh, burying feelings. I, I was emotionless. That carried on with me throughout life, not knowing that it was breaking me down inwardly. So I just carried on, you know, and just thought that it would pass. Once I got out of the Army, I enrolled back in college at Kentucky State University. After I graduated, I, I lost five people in a span of five years that were very close to me. Ultimately, in 2002, my mom died October 31st. Those deaths I never processed. It became to a point where I couldn't process life. Mom was always there. And when she died, like a part of me died. I didn't talk about it. I just buried it, but it still, I imploded. And that's when I found drugs. I went on to graduate school, got a master's degree in education. I began teaching. So I carried on with the life to the best of my ability. My addiction had, was running rabbits. It got to the point where I lost everything. I was homeless. I had nowhere to go, nowhere to sleep, wishing a truck would hit me, or wishing I would lay down and go to sleep and I'd wake up. I had no relationship with my kids, no relationship with my family, I couldn't call anybody. When I was rock bottom, man, I just got to the point, I, that's when I began to pray. And I said, God, I know you got something better for me. I don't know what it is, but either you're gonna take me or you're gonna give me something. January 18th last year, I was walking, cold, hungry, and looked up and I saw a flag flying. And I knew what the Joseph house was, but I just said, something just said, go through that door. Luckily, the lady who was my counselor before, she was in the uh, lobby, and she said, Terry, and I looked at her. And she came out the door, and we just hugged. And I said, I need you. And she said, I got you. So she brought me in that day, off the street. I started doing something for the first time, was getting treatment for my PTSD. Started, I started addressing that along with the drug issue. Things began to happen. I began to feel comfortable within myself. I felt my, my mind coming back, basically. I felt my inner self coming back, like the real deal. I was in a real battle for my life. So I had checked all those things off, and I'm still progressing through the Joseph house, but I said, man, I won't get a job, because I had gotten some things on my record, and I had lost my teaching license. I was there one day, and Sean, he walked through the door. Yeah, I was in there one day, and Terry came over to me. Uh, he was being busy, moving around like he was. And I was like, hey, man, what do you do? He said, I work for East. He was like, what do you do? He said, I get your job. And he explained the services and everything, and I'm like, yeah, right, they still ain't requirement. I remember the first thing I did was, I, you know, I sent our recruiter, Alex, a uh, email, letting him know, hey, he's a veteran, you know, can we get some veteran preference? <laughs> I came in, and I saw it. 
I saw this place, I saw them, and they all ran to me like they knew me. And she asked me, she said, what do you think? And I told her, I'm sold. I'm sold. If I, and I went back and I got on my knees and I prayed, I said, God, if any job you want me to have, if this is it, let it be. And I'm here. I'm here. Thank you. Thank you. After talking to him, I'm like, yeah, this man belongs here. <laughs> uh, he's fun. He, you know, he comes in here and just individuals just cling to him. You know, they they see him and they're like, Terry, Terry, Terry. He can come in here and he can change his life and and start from ground one and and really make a difference. I mean, not only his life but others. And, you know, he's he's shown us all that you just keep going. You know, if you feel like you're at a spot where you can't go anymore, keep going. At Easter Seals Redwood Military Bread Service Department, we don't turn anybody down. We believe that if you sign that paper, no matter how you got out, we're gonna help you. Every day that I get up and I come to Easter Seals Redwood, I get to save and change lives. I'm trying to find that guy who went through what I went through. I try to relay the hope that I found. I've never had a job where I wake up and look forward to going. And they're helping me grow. They're helping me see myself for who I am, who I can be. It's about coming in here and making a difference, making a difference in their lives, letting them know that they're loved and they show me love. No greater feeling every day. I mean, I'm like, I'm living my dream. You've just heard the story of three amazing people, heroes, quite frankly, who are on their way to a brighter future despite the challenges that they faced in their life. And guess what? There are hundreds more at Easter Seals Redwood seeking that opportunity. We hope that you will join us because our work isn't possible without you. We all want a stronger community, one where everyone has the opportunity to experience the thrill of achievement. Join Easter Sales Redwood and make brighter futures possible for more people in our community. Thank you so much. We are running free. Zoom.